Jersey on the street. We just left the hotel. We're gonna hop on the interstate, cruise on out to the track. We got a few last things to finish up on Bernie. We've been working on it all day yesterday when we checked the car in. We were doing some things and uh, just kind of find a little new car blue stuff with the car and want to get it right before we make a pass. Hopefully today we can make a test hit. If it takes us longer than expected to get everything done, then we will for sure make a hit tomorrow. But I think we're good. Transmission shipped and great. Everything seems happy. Uh, drove it around a little bit and then drove it from the track to the hotel last night. We kicked our alternator or the serpentine belt, so we got to get that fixed. But otherwise, we're cruising salty. Hey guys, so it's one o'clock. I've been working hard on this thing all morning, tightening up things. Had a little valve cover leak. We put we put that pulley on there. April's been running around trying to find me a serpentine belt, but we'll make work. We're hopefully the one she got will work. She got two, we'll try both. Um, I'm gonna get the burner spacing figured out. I hope I can make it past today, but today might be a bum day. I'm just working on the car because it shut down early at like three for anything testing. Uh, but April is gonna do some burnouts in Bernie at two o'clock, so about an hour, a little over an hour away. Uh, she's gotta be over doing burnouts and she's bringing new tires, all that stuff. So she'll have to get those put on real quick. She's gonna go over there and do a burnout. Well, besides hitting myself with a flywheel wrench trying to do converter spacing on the Camaro, April is ready to do a burnout in the burnout comp. So I think she's ready to rip. Getting suited up. We got the bottle on it. We got it turned up. You ready to do this? I'm ready. She's so ready. So let's see how she does. Here we go. Do a little intro here. You guys ready? Let's go! before it popped off tires, but it would have done it, but they called her off because of the smoke, I guess, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it would have done it, but oh well. Hopefully she still gets the win, even though they called her off. So we'll see how that uh, plays out with judging. Yes, she did most of it in first gear. We're going to get in high gear. They have a one minute time limit. Bernie usually pops tires about 56 seconds in high gear, so we're probably going to about a minute 15 right now. So that might have been why they called her off, but either way, it's a huge burnout. We can't get the tires off of it, but we would have, but they called it. But they really have to be careful to not screw up the pad here at LS Fest, so no like dragon tires and all that stuff. Hey, hey guys, there's the there. How's it going? Good? good. Awesome. It's spicy. The barrel looks good. Thank you. We'll get it. Hopefully, we get it out and make the pass. But I've been working on it non stop to get it. So. It's here, though. It's not in the garage anymore. Yeah. See you guys. So let's, uh, let's see what AJ does in his burnout. We'll see how this all goes. All right, first maiden voyage in the burnout bit for AJ. Let's go, baby. Woo! There you go. Get it, get it, get it. It's shifting up in gear when he goes faster, so. Not 
bad, not bad. Just not enough wheel speed. Need to be in a lower gear. Truck probably auto shifts on some of that stuff. So he did good though. He did good. Good job. Got the yes. win. Yes, got the win. <laughs> um, yes, because well, I have a I lot of parts to order from colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, winner got a $500 Holly gift card, so April now might need to get some parts from uh, for, it for either Bernie or the Jag or something. She also wants to go drift, so maybe a drift card. <laughs> First pump gas fill up for salty. Yeah, buddy. This is one thing I, why I wanted to go. One of the reasons why I want to go to C16 and pump gas in this car is because I can pull up to any gas station, throw fuel in it, and keep cruising. Like this, this is this is so nice. With E, you gotta search for E. It's already a mess around here to find fuel. So E is always hard, but now with pump, just roll right up, don't even change the tune from the C16. We'll cruise it on pump gas. Good morning, everybody, and we are out here at LS Best, about ready to make the first ever hit in Salty. The Grudge and Tune Lane is already all the way down there. I'm, I don't know if we'll make the first hit. AJ's rolling up there right now. We're still working on just now getting my seat set and everything, getting the fuel all good, and we need to ice this thing, so might not rush it. It'll hit the second one we should get. We missed this one, but we should get three other passes today, so um, otherwise, I'm super stoked. Still fought with Salty this morning in the parking lot at the hotel, keeping it cool, but it did drive us all the way into the strip last night, all the way back out. We had a freaking blast. Um, just not running as cool as I wanted to, so and it just kind of keeps gaining heat going down the road. I think we're running into no airflow issue as this is solid and the radiator kind of sits in a pocket, so there's really no airflow. And then I think this is actually just pushing air over it. So Either way, we're in race mode. We're gonna get this thing set up, head up there, and try to make past as soon as we can get in there. All right, here we go. We're in to fire up. We're gonna do a 2,000 RPM two-step check, make sure everything functions and works correct on the brake, and then we'll turn it up from there.
1962. Woo! I think I need to do a little bit more of a burnout. Probably. I got about 400 feet out in the ass end, went sideways just a little bit. Oh, okay. So I had to let out, throttle back in, and then take off. Um, I out treat the guy in the vet. <laughs> 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 127 to his 976 light. Hell yeah. So 1562 at 85. Not a bad mile an hour. No. Woo! No, not for everything being stock with 373 gear. Yeah, 100% stock bill. So this thing. No converter, no cam, no nothing. No, I guess an intake. An oh, intake and headers. Intake. Yeah, I guess and headers. So hey, open it cross. Alright, we'll die out of land. Do a better burnout. Yeah. Hell yeah. Salty is officially pulling back in the lane. 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 Salty is officially
up, Bill. It's all right. Even though crowd, it's crowd judging with uh, cheering and everything. Everybody's hyped from yesterday. Even though she marched against thing, she put out huge smoke afterwards. Not ideal, but uh, I think she is actually sitting in first right now. But demo match about ready to go there. El Camino, and that thing rips. So let's see how he does. If I had to uh, stop back up, restart, then she probably would have got the tires off. But that's all right. Still crushed it. She's learning. <laughs> Laying here, 1044 at 114. You see it already went uh, 105 to the eighth. So Salty's fastest time ever in the eighth is 126. And we're like, we're not even trying. We went 105. So another 20 mile an hour is gonna be nothing. Um, another 40, and then we'll be scoot scooting, scooting. So uh, I'm gonna look at the dialogue, look at everything, maybe pull plug just to just put my eyeballs on it, just to make sure everything's happy. But uh, everything's uber conservative and super safe. That was only five pounds boost and it went. 1044, 114, like nothing. So let's get her turned up. Only making 5.7 pounds of boost down track. It's leaving on, let me see here, 2.7 pounds of boost. I know that's hard to see. It's super bright out. They just got a bandana on because he's burning his forehead out here with all the sun. But uh, the car went great. We're actually not going to get another pass tonight. I was really hoping for that next round. Uh, it was on schedule, but it looks like it's later than or whatever. So we're going to be back first thing in the morning. Try to put this thing in the single digits and then just keep chipping away at it. So we've looked over the log, I've added some timing, I've added a little bit of boost, and we're just gonna keep going up from here. So 1044, real like uber, uber lazy. I bet if we get the, the, the wastegate tune up dialed in on this thing, it'll probably go 990s or better on just gate on five pounds. So if it does that on five pounds, this thing is gonna rip in the 20s and 30s. Since Salty finally make a day pass on the track, I know it wasn't overly exciting with this part of just a new car, dialing it in, working through it, uh, especially when you don't get to put on a dyno before you come to the track. So we're just taking our time with it and learning. We're even getting the parachute ready for tomorrow. Getting it aired out, figured out. We got all the parachute people over here. Oh, yep. Huh, Michelle? Every single time, and hi, James. Hi, are you gonna show us how to pack a chute? Uh, the correct sure. way? Yeah, do you want to Oh, yay. Me? We're gonna eventually, we're letting it air out, but. Yeah. I might need that. I hope. I hope I need that tomorrow. What'd you think? Got it in? Yeah. Yeah, Joey's very meticulous. I love that though. Safe while you're Aww. 180 mile an hour. Yeah, 180. That's what we need.
Let's see if we can put Salty in at least the nines. Still just baby, baby tune-ups. We went at 10.44 yesterday on the second pass ever on five pounds, which was really like the first kind of half full pass. We're only running about a thousand foot and lifting. Uh, just getting good data on it because that's just after third gear. So we're looking pretty good. Salty's looking good this morning. We're ready to make another pass. Probably be a short day and then we're gonna get out here and head home because it has been an incredibly long week, guys. And, uh, but I'm excited, super happy Salty's out here doing what it does. And we'll get back, we'll work on some more things and really get this thing dialed in. Ooh, there we go, nice iced up. We're not packing it too, too crazy because we're not throwing it ton of boost at it, but what was that right there? That's probably 7, 7, 14, 20, uh, so 28 pounds of ice. It'll probably take an easy 30 to go through full pass, maybe 42 full bags. Yeah, probably. Okay. 20 pounds if you really like iced it, worked it through the system, drained it, re-iced it, and got everything super, super cold. But like yesterday, I was looking at the data, and we only had 62 degree intake tips, so. We can already fill it right now. You guys can't, but I can. That's already nice and cold. So we're gonna uh, get ready to head up to the lanes now. Only wiring harness, 58x crank, uh, 58x uh, sensor, all that stuff. So I don't know what in the world. I probably need to just pull all that, make sure the sensor's not coming loose or got unplugged or acting weird under load or whatever. Pull the sensor out, make sure it's good. I don't know. Some weird stuff we need to check out. It's probably time for this thing to get an oil change now that it's kind of gotten some braking miles and driving. Uh, load into boost. I'm super happy. I mean, 143 foot, and we are literally just trying to like try to get the car to go. We're not even trying to lean on it to make power. We're really doing anything with this thing. I was hoping the day would be a whole separate video and we'd make a couple passes with this. But I think at that, there's no sense in trying to beat it or lean on it and hurt it. We need to get this thing home, get everything checked out. Think we're good and then put it on the dyno, valid it like I wanted to before we came and then head back out to the track. So if you guys want to see more on Salty and the progression we make, dialing this thing in, it's a process. It's part of that learning, that building, that tuning. And that racing is you gotta do all of it to make this thing right. If you guys wanna see more on that, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Help push this thing out to new people for us. And we'll see you guys in the next video.